You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. All right, time for another episode of Combat Radio. For those people that have actually survived this show as long as they have, I want you to know that you have a chance to see us live this weekend at PopCon LA. Mark Ryan, who's sitting with me, the big robot from Transformers 1, 2, and 3, possibly 4, Robin Hood, and a bunch of other shit. He'll Hello, be with world. Us. How you doing, guys? Yeah, good to have you. Um, so he'll be with us as well. Adrian Paul of Highlander fame, Rick Mora of Twilight fame, a lot of our combat radio regulars. Bunch of guys, man. Voice guys as well. Steve, yeah. Bloom, Neil, Kaplan. Yeah. There's a lot of guys come in. Cindy Morgan, Margot Kidder. We may get them, drag them on, and I'm sure we'll forget time. We'll be interviewing them yes. all, and they can give us their reflections on their... And if it gets boring, I promise I'll wreck the place for all those that are listening. I'll try to I'll try to spice it up by trash in the joint. I want to say a quick hello to all our listeners uh, in Australia with the Peace Fund, our listeners in Europe, Germany, Norway, Sweden, the UK, Spain, Portugal. All of you have gotten involved with the show. Thank you. And a quick special thank you for everyone that surprised me Saturday, June 30th. Uh, as most of you know or may not know, it was a birthday for me. And what was cool about it was in a world where everyone's quick to ask you for something, help me with my career, get me tickets, I walked into a household full of friends, and a lot of them were from this show that you may know, Peter Shinkota, Eric Mark, uh, Brian Nelson, uh, Mark, Doug Jones uh, were Doug there. Yes. And, and uh, it, no business was discussed, and it was just a great time being around some good friends. So I want to say thank you to everyone who turned up and uh, wrecked my place in turn for once. Uh, it was a great time and a real privilege. To start this show, uh, we've got some special guests um, in the room. If you heard May the Force Be With You last hour, you may know who these guys are. Coming up actually shortly, too, we're going to have a, one of our favorite, favorite combat radio veteran regulars, Courtney Gaines, drop by with Steve Adams of Ripple Street, who we respect quite a bit. But now... Uh, to kick things off are two artists from the band Walking Spanish who have stopped their sold-out tour to drop by our station here and talk a little bit about what's shaken. Uh, Alexander Nelson, and you brought in your keyboard player who looks like he just crawled out from under a bus. Uh, <laughs> a rough night, rough night on the tour, buddy. <laughs> Van. Uh, out of the uh, tour van. And welcome. The mystery machine. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's it. That's, you know, don't let the rock star status go to your head on this show. Uh, but what's shaking? You guys are in the middle of a tour tonight. You're actually at, uh, let me grab this, We're plethora of dates. Yeah, yeah, you're in Long Beach for the next couple of nights. You're at Fingerprints Records tonight. You're at Pike's Bar tomorrow night. Then you're going to be in San Diego for Winston's. Yes, sir. Uh, multiple dates that you can get at what Walking Spanish uh, WalkingSpanish.com or on the Facebook page. But what's uh, what's shaking mid tour? Give us a good tour story. Give us a good roadie tour story. Okay. Well, you it's know, a kid friendly show, so watch off, your language. We kicked it off last night at uh, in Hollywood. I heard at the whiskey. Starting things mm. starting things off, uh, you know, in Hollywood is an interesting way to start Southern California, from what we hear from our friends down here. Uh, but uh, it, you know, it went well, and uh, we're we're keeping things keeping things easy going. We're camping. I would have been there, but I was actually I was out of town for the last three days. I know here's a little side note, Mark, and this is a true story. I was at the Disneyland Resort where they unveiled the Combat Quencher at Napa Rose, which is a drink, and it's like a very very high octane mai tai inspired by this show Combat Radio. Combat you can get it. You can order. You. Yes, you can order quencher. the Combat Quencher at Napa Rose. Most people know we're big fans of that place. We we log a lot of hours there. What is it, does it put you into a coma, or does it, it make could, you want to fight quite everybody possibly. that happens no, to be around you? No, it doesn't make. It's a very very good almost tiki drink. So you kind of, it kind of makes me feel like throwing on a Hawaiian print shirt and hanging with Magnum PI. Hey, you know, it's really, hey, you know, it's, it's lunchtime. We'll get a couple but, of those. Yeah, no, you, yeah, is, but on a, just on a side note, because I, I, I tend to forget these important announcements like that. But you can get the Combat Quincher at Napa Rose, and I want to thank two of my friends, General Manager Philip Tusk and Manager Eric Q, who made that happen. The drink is fi- fantastic. I'm going to be posting pictures. We did a photo shoot last <laughs> night, and it's kind of cool having a, a drink. It's a high after. class place named after the show. I felt very much like Trader Vic, you know, with the Warren Zevon. You know, collaboration. I felt very, very cool. So, yes, the Combat Quencher, uh, Disney, uh, you know, at uh, the Disney Resort. You can get it at Napa Rose. You can walk in and order it. And I dare you to do it, quite frankly. I'm daring all, I'm daring all of you. <laughs> He's looking at me with those. I'm daring you. you know. Well, I want to take you down there just so you can try it. I think we should all go down there can and just have cocktails. You know, what hey, color is it? Can I handle it? Yeah, what color is it? It looks like a Mai Tai. It's, okay. you know, it's red. <laughs> but, uh, but it's good. It's real good. And, uh, you know... Those guys know what they're doing down there, as we all know. That's a side note. But that's why I couldn't go to the show. I'd gotten word from Brian that 
the show was at the Whiskey last night, and I'm like, man, I'm in Orange County, and it was like 15 minutes before showtime, and I was in no state to show up and see Mario, and you know. Well, that's, that's okay. a great place to start, though. If you, I mean, a legendary place to start. Oh you know? yeah, you know that that venue, the sound is just great, and you can feel, uh, you know. It's, and they it's an need good place. artists in there because they haven't, over the last couple of years, really been delivering the shows. They've oh. had, they've struggled with that, so it's nice that you guys got a chance to do oh. that because. They were yeah. pleased, you know. They were they were excited to have like a live band that wasn't electronica. And, right. You know, they were they were like, oh, right, a rock band, you know. They were like, you know, they got pumped. It was cool. Uh, it was yeah. cool. No, one of our regulars, Dizzy Reed of Guns N' Roses, plays there every once in a while, and he always brings the house down, and it's uh, yeah. he sounds fantastic in there. Oh, that's an old Guns N' Roses haunt, isn't it? I mean, that's what yeah, I'm yeah. Saying. Another guy that actually made it famous is on this show quite a bit, Robbie Krieger of the Doors. Right on. You know, and oh, he wow. he's got some whiskey stories for you. <laughs> oh, I bet. You know, I bet. You know, although and he's, he's a nice guy <laughs> as well. And he, Yes, He's helped he us out with a lot of charity stuff as well. He played this amazing gig at Christmas. Yeah. Uh, uh, at uh, uh, Salt Creek Grill. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was no. amazed just at the sheer music musicianship of the whole. That's the so thing. So tight. That's the thing. It was with amazing. Artists, you know, it's like, yeah, he's uh, you can tell the pros, right? Because well, he's the genius behind all. Krieger is just so gracious, and they just set up and they played our Super Bowl party for like 60 people. You know, a real small thing we co-hosted with the San Diego Charger cheerleaders. It was a charity-driven thing. It was a special thing. And it was a small, kind of intimate crowd, and he just set up. And, and when he got to Riders of the Storm, I swear I was listening to the EP. It wow. was that good. Wow. And he brought up a guy who sounded just like Jim Morrison. It was really scary. It was no like kid. he channeled the ghost. It was just unreal. <laughs> Uh, and for us, it was like a really cool experience because I can swear from a historical standpoint, that's the first time the Doors or any members of the Doors had ever played Valencia, and we did it. We made that one happen. <laughs> so I was pretty it impressed. Was good. That's no, a feather good in your cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too shy about bragging about that kind of stuff. I'm like, you know, if ever, you know, especially in this business, you know, where there's really, a, you're hard pressed to find good musical talent, you know, unlike yourselves and some of other friends are very, very fortunate to actually have it, you know. It's nice when you've got some iconic people in the mix that actually do put on a good show and you have something to do with it. Absolutely. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, and Robbie Krieger, he's one of the, you know, he's one of those real deals. Yeah, we should introduce you to him sometime. Very gracious oh guy. We're supposed God. to be helping out with his golf tournament on the 20th of August. No kidding. And how that goes is anyone's guess. <laughs> right now, it's just about surviving PopCon in L.A. for the next three days. Yes, we will be there. I think you guys are coming down, too, at some point. I believe so, yeah. You're going to come down and do an down, appearance with, with us? You. Yeah. yeah, come down. You can actually meet Walking Spanish. They'll autograph some stuff, right? you got a lot of these for the fans. Yes, we sure oh, yeah. do. You know? Got posters, CDs, and a smiling face for, for another smiling face. Uh, yeah. see that? See now that's that's what we like, man. You know, uh, uh, some kindness around here. <laughs> You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. 